The key allows users to be set up with varying permissions that control access to both the application and to the underlying client bank. All are managed through the setup area and selecting the users menu. First of all, a list of all users is displayed where users can be added or deleted, or an existing user can be selected and using the open button, their record can be amended. The main details tab lists their current information, their name and contact details, as well as allowing you to reset their password if required. You can also assign the user to a branch or team and assign them a custom user role or predefined user role may be required. The roles tab itself allows you to determine whether the user is an advisor or an administrator. If an advisor, then the area you can see on screen will be enabled, allowing you to record default information about commissions and compliance, as well as associated administrators and compliance officers. The restrictions tab controls access to the key application. A series of checkboxes allow you to control access, simply add or remove a tick as necessary, and these options will allow users to access or not certain areas of the system. It will also control whether they are, for example, a compliance officer or have delete capabilities. The Permissions tab controls access to the client bank. By default, all users can access all clients, but by placing a check in the appropriate tick box, you can restrict a user to viewing only their work or to the work of their team or branch. If the combination requires a particular other user to have access, select them from the list that is shown on the screen. The Training and Competence tab allows you to record training and competence information for the user. You can build up a record over time, and in this case we have only one entry, so we can select and open to see the details. This will show the event type, date and any notes. Click on OK or Save, or simply close the window if required. The Logins tab allows you to record the login information for the user for the supported third-party integrations, such as mortgage sourcing. New integrations can be added here, or you can select an entry and click on the Open button to edit the details. This will have the account name, including options from the drop-down, the user ID and password, meaning launching a third-party integration from the key is a seamless event. The Documents tab allows you to record documents for this particular user, as opposed to a client. In this case, the user document is added using the Add Existing File button. You can also delete documents or edit documents if you have appropriate permissions. This log will build up over time, and could be used for documents such as reviews or certifications and any other associated documentation.